All right, hello everyone and welcome back. For anyone that doesn't know how to add Power of Elements, I will try to explain it as quick as possible. So let's get right into it. So first thing, all you need is a guild, which has to be level 21 plus to actually purchase this Power of Elements. So my guild right now is 27. I've been donated for quite a while now. I've got 89 characters in this guild which this one is the highest one. The rest of them are level 30. You need level 30 characters minimum to actually add elements and uh, you know donate to the guild. So first thing what you're gonna do is simply add on this button you know attendance reward which you're gonna get 13 if you actually do it every day with more than 70 characters and after this you have to press donate and you can donate three times which costs 120k so from my calculation each day I donate with 89 characters I have to spend 10.6k k. so 10k k each day to donate with 89 characters I personally think is very worth it I've added many elements during this guild I have it for almost two years maybe so you're gonna go on the on this map on County Imha which is the first one and you're gonna see Metal Keeper, right? He will always be here. He's not running away. Press on shop and you're gonna see all the power of elements here. You need level 21 guild to buy power of elements, but to actually remove one you need level 24. Or to change the power of element, like you can actually add power of lighting and then change it to earth or wind, whatever you want. So that's pretty much quickly explained as quick as possible level 21 for the guild to buy this one 24 to remove very simple Oh my lord, 24 power of lighting. It is just perfect now. We have achieved the perfect poison sword after quite a while. So this is how the poison sword looks right now at plus three. I've decided to do 24 lighting. I think, I don't know if it's worth it for each item. Most of them are plus 18 power of anything you wish. I think plus 18 is just perfect spot but I wanted to do plus 24 because you know the poison sword is 60 average it just looks perfect and it's just one kind of item that I like to have it perfect okay now let's see what we can do with the legendaries we gonna start with ruby because we don't want it beautiful failed diamond uh, I think two maybe no just one this is what we want actually. The jade. Let me do it later though. One. And just one. I guess it's beautiful, isn't it? So many fails. And the jade. Let's see the jade. Wow. Amazing. Just one. I haven't done too much. Let's see this one. This two. This one is bad. This one as well. Jade. Okay, the jade is full, but it's not what we want. And the diamond. It's alright, I guess. Okay, let's see. What can we do? We can do. Let's do garnet. See what we can do. Failed. I don't think I'm gonna do a ninja anymore. Ninja is very unlucky. Okay, let's see what we can do now. We purchased one and ticks on each, so we can actually see if we get legendary. I feel like I should start with Onyx, because probably the cheapest. Failed. Failed as well. Third in a row. 
fourth in a row. And this one successful at least. Okay. And failed. Well, at least this one was successful, which is the most expensive one. Rest failed, which is kind of unfortunate because I had more legendaries for this. I can't believe I failed so many times on the last one. Seems... Seems kind of suspicious. Failed. Wow. A lot of fails. At least the Jade, please. Wow, dude. What's going on with this raid? Alright, here we go again. The third time. Failed. Successful, at least that one was successful. At least the Jade. Successful, good, good. Let's see the diamond. Alright, let's see the diamond. And then the Onyx. Successful, and the Onyx. Successful as well, beautiful. Let's see if it gives full. This one is full, okay. This one too. This one trash. This one is decent. The ruby and this one is full. Pretty nice. Pretty nice to be fair. Come on, baby. Failed. Beautiful. Let's see sapphire. Failed. That's not a problem, but it's at least full, so that's good. Failed, man. What a huge gamble is with this alchemy. Failed as well. Christ. Everything failed. Alright, so I decided to not gamble anymore with the alchemy since I don't have enough ones. And I need to actually complete the warrior, so I just simply decided to sell all of those. I believe I spent like 19 ones to purchase a couple to upgrade. And uh, after I sell all of those, I should actually make a profit a bit. I believe it's 27 ones I should make out of all of those. Alright, so everything pretty much sold except the onyx. So we're gonna take it out of here. And take the money as well, of course. And we could actually buy another one and try our luck. I think that's a good plan. This is the one, this is the one. Let's go. It was successful. Damn it. Empty. Okay, so I'm gonna put this Onyx on the market and hopefully it's gonna sell for seven ones. That's the lowest price that I could find. Okay, so I'll get this current as well for the warrior. There's nothing much needed for a warrior. And this is the Garnet plus four. Beautiful. So I'm going to equip the Garnet as well. And then the only issue that I'm going to have is getting Jade and Onyx, which are the most difficult to get from Europe, of course. All right, also, let's try and see what damage we have in the 95 Easter. Okay, it's pretty good. 7k. I see 12.5 damage. 12.6 actually. So the highest we got was 12.6. Very decent damage. And it's not even completed. I'm also missing the biologist. Which is almost finished. After I finished biology. And completed the alchemy. This character can achieve big damage to be fair. And today is the last day of Easter, and we've got another inventory, and see what surprises it has in it. Wonderful as usual, very wonderful prizes. Let's go to the second opening. Okay, so this round was a bit better, definitely much better than the last one. And this is the last opening, and beautiful. Two bonus transfer. this was fantastic. The last one was probably one of the best openings. And I believe the biologist is almost finished. I need to deliver one more. Ah, never mind, failed. All right, so I've got these two zodiac bows that I made in a couple of episodes ago, and I have 19 dragon scrolls. So I decided, let's try the luck. Let's try my luck a bit and see how it goes. 
Blessing Scroll to plus six, and then to plus seven with uh, Dragon Scrolls. Plus five, plus six, plus seven. Okay, and plus seven, plus eight. Ah, that would have been too nice. Uh, let's try this one now. Not with that one. Plus seven, right? Failed. Yeah, that was about it. Unfortunately, nothing has been made. There's still plus four and plus three. But it was a good attempt. I'll try more in the future when I get more Zodiac cases. For now, you know, it, they could have been plus eight. I tried once at plus eight and it failed. I don't have handbooks, so only the Dragon Skulls should work. But we'll try. We'll try until we can make at least one plus eight. All right, so let me quickly show off what I've done so far for this character. I'm almost finished with it. I need Jade and Onyx. This is what I've got so far. Ruby, Diamond, Sapphire and Garnet. This is the Alchemy. These are the items. I'm gonna change the Sash in the future. The Poison Sword. Helmet. The rest of the items. Pretty decent. And the pet that I've showed you before. This is the pet with Monster. 11. And a random Frank that I've just got it for free from item shop to test it. These are my other items. This will be the set for the Baron. These are just random items for other maps. And those are the o Oceanic Shoes. So right now all I'm missing from this character is the Alchemy and probably the costumes. And I could probably do a Baron set too. Anyway, let's stop talking and test the damage. I decided to do a bit of boss runs. So this will be the first attempt for Captain Youngen. This is a bit more difficult than others. But the next one will definitely be the Baron after I finish the alchemy. Unfortunately, it's a bit difficult on Europe, but I'm not giving up on Europe that fast. This is where I was born and this is where I probably die playing the game. I just don't like changing servers. I have too many characters here and there's no point. That's the general. Okay, let's see what damage do we have in him. Alright, it's pretty decent. I don't have any costumes either. And this is the pure items that I have. And the damage is pretty good. I guess this boss is quite easy. I was expecting it to be a bit more difficult. I'll try different bosses and see what we can do with what we have right now without the alchemy completed. Not costumes, just simply raw damage. Who can do it? Even though I had power of wind zero, it's still possible to kill him with zero. Since this character was built for a Baron, I'm not gonna change it in wind so definitely possible to kill it which this one is a difficult boss I don't know if this is a boss or not but I'm gonna kill it anyway let's see if it drops anything it is very strong so I can I assume it's a boss since it takes longer to kill yeah it is all right, let's see what it drops. Nothing much. So this is where the test is going to be for this character. Since the King Crab is the most difficult from this map. I believe he can do it with no issues. That's what it hits. That's what it hits. So it pretty much hits there. Let's try again. Alright, well, let's try again. Now this time around we got the shoes with the resistance kill damage. And I believe now should be a lot easier. 
since he won't be able to actually kill me. Well, if I have the Jade, if I had the actually Jade, he actually, you know, I would have had more HP. And a bit left. And there we go. 